Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. This is our very quick Bitcoin morning update because there isn't too much to look at and obviously traditional markets haven't been open. Um, so yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing the like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin 4 hour charts. Um, yes, all we've really got to keep an eye on is this um, <coughs> is this, uh, is this sort of area. I'm not going to shade it in because I don't want too many shaded parts in on my chart. But we've obviously got this this uh, horizontal here, which marks these highs in this little uh, recent uh, price iteration here. And then uh, this horizontal here, which marks these lows here. So if we get back above, basically above, uh, we can call it 56,000. Uh, then we can get, we could potentially get a a nice move uh, into this next uh, level uh, where we would um, obviously need to try and take out 58 and a half and then ultimately take out 60,000 uh, to then start to recover uh, the downside which uh, which isn't looking uh, like it's too uh, too impossible to happen is we do just come down into the low 50s um, and then try and try and actually finally fully and formally put in a base uh, around this uh, 51 to 52 thousand uh, dollar level um, if we take that out obviously we, we we've got levels lower where I mean realistically realistically um, it will just be it will just be any anywhere between literally low 40s low 40s and obviously the low 50s that we would break down from basically back into the zone we'll just find ourselves back into this zone uh, which point at which point if that was to happen just painting out the bearish picture uh, we could very easily paint ourselves a quite a large head and shoulders there um, and then obviously breaking that neckline will pretty much uh, pretty much be curtains and Bitcoin will be um, well visiting low 30,000s potentially having a 20 a 20k handle uh, at some point um, so that is a downside the flip side obviously is we get support here or around 51 and turn back up get back into the zone and continue onwards and upwards but obviously as we know we have our latest uh, iteration of um, of the global pa pandemic to contend with now so we'll have to see uh, how obviously traditional markets uh, deal with that because that is obviously uh, what is uh, what is the uh, driver at the moment um so yeah if we look at ethereum satoshi pairing uh just just more out of habit just a bit of weekend sideways uh flirting with this uh resistance area uh, consolidating at a high level so this is not looking bearish at all um so if bitcoin just starts to stabilize and recover we could actually see as long as it doesn't spike up in a, in a crazy fashion we could actually start to see uh, a break and a, and a really nice move in Ethereum, the Ethereum Satoshi pairing. The USD pairing, I mean, it is quite apparent it's trying to cling on to the $4,000 level um, and this support level we've got joining as well, which is just below $4,000 level. But yeah, it's trying to cling on to this level, I guess, so breaking it would obviously be pretty dire. Uh, probably take us down, down to the mid 3000s But I mean, I think I've, I, I've been, a, been an optimistic uh, uh, bull. Uh, bias uh, person uh, on Ethereum, particularly, I think we've got a good chance of holding it and turning onwards, back upwards. Uh, it really is going to come down, just what come down to what goes on with this. But I mean, we've we've seen the playbook now. We've seen the playbook from previous uh, the previous initial um, dump um, from this um, this global pandemic. So um, that obviously um, offers itself to a different potential uh, playing out of uh, this uh, this iteration. Let's use this this iteration of this. Um, let's use that same word again um, so yeah um, it will be interesting to see how it plays out on Monday maybe we get a bit more of a spike down then we bounce back up and then we continue uh, well we start to stabilize uh, and then ultimately build some more confidence but I think that realistically is what is going to drive Bitcoin because obviously everybody knows what happened to BTC along with every other asset when we had the big the last big dump um, in all that all that way back when in March um, so yeah <laughs> that is it guys very quick video like I said uh, it will be an interesting week no doubt let's hope it is interesting to the upside uh, thank you for listening hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will speak to you guys soon